Fun fact about our house, we usually always have rabbits chilling in our front yard. There's one out there right now. See how close I can get before he takes off. It's actually somewhat warm today, so I decided to bust the pit bike out. It's been a minute, except the muffler fell off a while back when Jeremy rode it. Sorry, Freaking broke, broke it. it. <laughs> so now it's all loud. Bro, it was the welds. They gave it out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but it's really loud now. It sounds throaty. It's a lot better now. So Jeremy's been putting in some more work on his Civic. Yeah. Just got it pushed back in, got the engine bay all power washed out, sanded up some rough edges so the paint sticks better. Yeah, so, I mean, all pretty much I did was just uh, finish up the driver's side with the little wire tuck right here, or the passenger side, sorry. Yeah, getting the wires ran right through here getting for the headlights and stuff so that'll hide all the fender. Nice and pretty, and, um, we're just letting it dry real quick, so we're gonna let the heater blow on it for a little bit while we go to the store and pick up some black paint that we need. Um, and then when we get back, I'm gonna take off all these parts and pretty much just bring them forward and then mask them all off. And then we'll be ready for paint. We'll put some primer down and then uh, it'll be ready for paint, pretty much. And then should be looking real good. And then what I just showed in that last video was he was cutting up some vacuum line and putting it right here so that uh, the vibration doesn't like cut through the wires over time because it's just uh, bare metal otherwise. I actually saw that in the comments. Someone mentioned that, so. Yeah, so I just did it. I mean, I was going to do it, so you guys just need to chill. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go run over, get some paint real quick, get some other things while this thing dries, and uh, we're gonna come back and get everything else masked off and get her painted. says you can't daily a nearly 700 horsepower minivan. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> Everyone's going to be complaining because I still didn't change the tires. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Just a little can. It's not going to be anything. Yeah, just enough to cover that one like rust spot on the on K member thing. Yeah. And just to have it. So, it'll be good. Paint some other car parts. For yeah, them. we already have all the other colors. All the white. <laughs> Also, I'm going to get some turtle food for some of the OG subscribers that know I have two turtles. <laughs> now all you guys know. For those of you that don't know about my turtles, this is them. This is Jimmy. It's a Mississippi map. And uh, this is Pancake. He is a soft shell turtle. You can see why I call him Pancake, because he looks like a pancake. And uh, they know I'm getting ready to feed him, so they're getting all excited. This guy right here normally spends most of his time under the sand. But uh, since I gave him some food, he came out to eat. But uh, yeah, he's one of my favorites. He's a cool looking turtle. I like how they have this little snout right here. Got like a little pig nose. But they are really cool. So yeah, not only do we have trouser, but we also have these two turtles as well. And also a fish.
Got the bay all masked off, ready for some paint. Yeah, first we're gonna do primer. So we're gonna do like, say like two and a half, maybe three coats of this. Honestly, if not, just use the whole can. But first, we're just gonna do a first layer of uh, just like lightly, just so it's tacky. Thin layer of primer on. Sorry, you're looking pretty good. Still need more though to cover it up completely. Yeah, I think we're just gonna use the rest of the can because I mean, just that. There's like honestly, it took a lot, so we'll just do like a good wet one, like to get it all nice and covered, and then we'll let that dry for like at least maybe 10 minutes because it's such fast drying and it's pretty already. It's like almost yeah, it's already dry. so dry to the touch. It's already looking way better. Yeah, honestly. It's making me want to pull a motor out of the hatch, honestly, and repaint it. Bro, yours is clean next. It up. <laughs> yours is next. That's the nice one. That's the one that... You got to clean it up. Got the primer all done. Ready to put some color on it. Yup, we're ready for real paint. So, we're just going to go lightly first, and then just do it how we did the primer, and go from there, see how it looks. So, get started. It's definitely going to look better than how it did before. Yeah, for sure, bro. Cover nice. Alright guys, so we just got the second coat done and it's like pretty much all full coverage now. It's looking pretty good. Just gotta let it dry. Ooh. Poor guy didn't have any weapons yet. <laughs> oh my kit dude. <laughs> oh. oh bro. Oh he knows. He's jumping, look at him. Cause that was right next to him. <laughs> He's off and around, dude. Oh, bro, who's shooting? He's right there. Look. Oh, dude. He's outside the circle. He's gonna die anyway. Well, he's not gonna die. But he's getting hurt right now. Oh, no, I'm done, I'm done. Bro. Bro. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you were close. You were 29. All right, guys. So I'm about to put the last coat of paint on, or that we have left of paint. While Kyle is over there playing Fortnite, I'm gonna just get this done, and then so we could have it ready for the next step, which is clear. And then after that, we'll just let it dry overnight, and then have it all ready. No, bro. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got you four. So close. Damn. Come in to four. Dude, I suck at this game. <laughs> Rage quit. <laughs> Ooh, the bay's looking good. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> gonna give it like second to last coat. So we'll do one. We'll do this one, and then we'll do another one, and then we'll call it quits. It's already looking really good, but I just want it for like durability, cause. We touch our cars a lot, so might as well just give it a couple layers and call it quick right there. So is that the clear or you got any more white first? No, this is the clear. So I already added one layer of clear and it looks pretty dang glossy already. And then, yeah, I'm yeah, just adding. That's, so that's a dry right now. Yeah, that's dry. It's already glossy. Mm -hmm. So just add like two more and that'll be it. We'll call it for a night. But it looks real good now. So we got the final coats of clear on the engine bay. Just gonna let it sit overnight to fully dry before we take off any of the stuff we masked off. Yeah, but. we'll just leave it. But this is pretty much how it's gonna look cause like when I did this last coat, like I touched the little side of the paint and it was dry. And I was like, dang, this is how glossy it's gonna get. So pretty much like how it is, that's yeah, how it's, it's almost, gonna stay. It's so. pretty dry right now. Yeah, like it's still honestly. tacky, but it's it's gonna look pretty much like that. Yeah, pretty so much. So it's really glossy, it looks good. Yeah, I put some heavy, heavy, heavy coats. I mean, not enough till it runs, but like, like a perfect amount of clear, so it looks really good. It's shiny as heck. Yeah, it looks really good for a rattle can, honestly. Yeah, not bad. And before I end this video, um, we might be doing quite a bit of work on the minivan the next few days. I know we've had a lot of videos about this thing already, but we need to get working on it because 
Uh, we have been kind of officially invited to go out to the YouTuber car challenge that Rob Freddy is having. So this thing still needs some work before we will be able to make it. And it's literally only 10 days away from right now. By tomorrow, it's gonna be nine days away. And it's also uh, gonna be about a two day drive to get down there if we have to drive down there. So we probably have about exactly a week to get this done. So I've been talking to Brent some, we're gonna see if we can get it ready to go out there. But we still need to put a catch can on it. We need to get the battery mounted. We need to put a relay on the fuel pump and also get a fuel pressure regulator so we don't have any more fuel issues and we can turn it back up to the like high 600 to low 700s. And um, we also need to figure out a tire to put on this thing. We need some wheels and tires. Um, Rob said that I was gonna be able to run a radial on this thing out there. So I need to get some tires on the way and I need to find two front wheels that will fit a wider radial because these stock ones are only like six inches wide. So I'm not sure how wide of a tire I can put on these, probably only up to like a 225. And I wanna go a little wider than that if we can, but we literally only have about a week. So it's gonna be a challenge. We also need to do the suspension, get this thing lower to the ground because it's still pretty sketch on the stock suspension. And I'm not about to do a half mile in this van with the stock suspension. So yeah, we have a lot to figure out on this thing. And yeah, just letting you guys know, there's still no 100% guarantee that we're gonna be out there, but we are gonna try. So we'll see what we can do. But uh, yeah, I think first thing tomorrow, I'm gonna start getting work done on the van. I need to get the battery mounted. Might head over to PFI, talk to Brent about some things. And uh, I think he's gonna look for some Accord coilovers that he said he had that we can throw on this thing and hopefully those will fit and just start getting her ready because we literally have only a week and then we have to figure out a way to get down there. That's, the, that's our main concern right now is figuring out a way to get down there. We're either gonna have to find someone with a truck and trailer that we can borrow or rent one or something and just find a way to get out there. So I guess we'll figure it out. Hopefully we can make it. But that's gonna be all for tonight, guys. We got Jeremy's Civic pretty much done as far as the engine bay goes. Just gotta throw everything back together. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it for tonight, guys. And thanks for watching.